Centra, and this is Centra Art. Chiron is in Aries, so for people born in the 70s, this is a Chiron return for you. Also, Chiron is in retrograde at 11 degrees. Chiron is the wounded healer, and it is said that good things cannot come without difficulties, just as healing cannot come without pain. Once we recognize the pain in that particular house and zodiac sign of our chart, may it be a mental, psychological, financial, emotional, spiritual, or physical ailment, we can begin the healing process. We can begin to heal ourselves because Chiron, the healer, is in Aries, that Mars energy. Aries is a cardinal sign. It's a self-starter. It's the rebel, the warrior. Aries is also a fire element. It creates and takes action. So let's look at your soul's journey, what needs to be healed, your vibe, and what you need to let go of. These messages are for the earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Your first message is balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Balance means bringing a sense of stability and wholeness into every area of your life. Many times when you look at a situation objectively, you will resonate with one side more than the other. Try not to view either as good or bad but simply recognize that it is. The true nature of the scales of balance is to give both sides of a situation your equitable objective perspective. It can be difficult to understand the side that you don't relate to, but that is a lesson in itself. What is it about you that prevents you from giving both sides of the coin your non-judgmental assessment? This situation or person has been placed in your path to teach you that everyone has his or her own unique, authentic life story. And you must put yourself in that person's shoes to really understand his or her motivation. Balance is a godly virtue. And if it is struck, you will reap the benefits of insight and compassion. Balance. Your second message is, how teachable are you? Are you open to learning new things in your life? How high is your desire to let go of judgment, doubt, negativity, and self-sabotage? What are some of your favorite things to do? Is it to watch TV, go shopping, play golf, drink, gossip with your friends? Are you willing to give those things up in order to create time to learn something new? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? What is your willingness to really apply what you learn? You might be learning many new things, but be resistant to change. Every time you begin to think, I already know this, I've heard it before, this doesn't apply to me, your ability to learn diminishes enormously. And it is at this point you may become virtually unteachable without realizing it. Unless you apply what you have learned into your life, you won't really know it. This card is backing you to not only be open-minded, but to take specific action towards change. How teachable are you? Your third message. Sleep on it. When your emotions get stirred up and worked over time, they block access to your higher awareness. At times like this, do not struggle for answers. Instead, step away from the problem and literally put your worries to bed. Surrender your concerns to higher forces while you slumber and invite your psychic support system, your angels and guides, to find solutions to your challenges and place them directly into your subconscious mind to be accessed the minute you wake up. 
or shortly thereafter. This process is practical sixth sensory living. Your guides love to work on your behalf and will offer better solutions than you could ever dream of without their assistance. So relax, grab a pillow, and give your emotions a well-deserved break. Sweet dreams, sleep on it. And your fourth message is surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear, non-defensive response. Surrender defensiveness. So before you leave, I would like to share my symbols in the bag with you. We have North Node, Ceres, Part of Fortune, and Neptune. So let's take heed to balance, how teachable are you, sleep on it, and surrender defensiveness. I hope you enjoyed my messages. See you soon. Bye.